If you're new here, I want to stick you about my morning routine. Um, I'm trying to get back into the habit of being productive in the morning, getting my work done, getting any editing done, um, any planning that I have to do for my kids' lessons, just getting back on track in general. So if you hear my son in the background, he's on the skateboard in the kitchen. <laughs> I did want to chat about what's helping me be productive during the day and how our carnivore adventure went. My husband and I both ended up losing 10 pounds, which is super awesome. Since carnivore is more of a elimination diet to see what your body can and can't handle, um, what we've noticed that with animal-based diet, we really, well, I really feel great. We love avocados, fruits, cilantro, so we decided not to continue on carnivore. I'm going to do mostly meat diet with the addition of honey, fruit, some mushroom, cilantro, you know, some herbs, and some sourdough. So I'm gonna call it a meat-based diet, <laughs> uh, animal-based, meat-based diet, where my meals are mostly gonna be meat and eggs, with the exception of some honey, some fruit, and some sourdough. So I, I really did love carnivore, except for not being able to have honey in my coffee <laughs> or um, in my matchas, but I really did like it. So I definitely wanna keep eating meat. Anyways, um, if you haven't seen, we've got half a cow. Um, I'll link that video down below. I'm gonna pull out something for dinner. I am gonna get a workout in. We're gonna do some lessons with the kids. If you didn't know, we are homeschooling. We're gonna be a homeschooling family. We didn't really get into a routine yet, which I am trying to do, hence this 6 a.m. morning routine video. Um, I try not to do lessons with my husband's home just so we can, you know, have fun and do things as a family. But our school schedule right now is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday because my husband is off Monday, Thursday. And it has been working out great. We're gonna get out in the sunshine. We're gonna do more grounding. We just need to be in nature more. And I have to practice riding my bike because uh, everybody wants to go on a bike ride and I'm uh, <laughs> I haven't been on a bike in a while. We found one at the dump or the recycle center recently for free. It works, it's just a little tall for me because I am a little 5'2 and I can't really reach the ground good. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a quick workout in. I'm gonna get my steps in and then we're gonna go outside probably and do some lessons. The good thing about homeschooling is you don't have to teach indoors. You can teach wherever you want to which is great because a kid shouldn't be strapped down to a classroom for more than a couple of hours a day. I really want to get on track with 
my work, my editing, and just being on top of everything and being productive while working around my kiddos. I am also working on a little six week program just for people who want to get back into shape. It'll come with a meal plan or meal ideas along with a six week workout. I am not a trainer or a professional, but <laughs> it's just a guy that helps me get back on track and I'm hoping it'll help you too. So if you're interested in that, it is coming soon. Um, I will let you know maybe within the next month or two, but it's definitely not ready yet. sure I get my water and minerals in. Very important to keep hydrated. Now that my husband is done with his second job, it's been really easy to get the kids to bed early um, and we've been trying to get them to bed early so he can get to bed early because he still works early in the morning. And I've been liking waking up early so I can get some work in before the kids wake up. I've been off of my game lately. Um, I was waking up at five, six, um, a month or so ago so I'm gonna get back into that and to do that I'm gonna make sure the kids are in bed early at night and I have my workout clothes ready the next day and a clean kitchen and everything set up for success my husband definitely helps a lot uh, with that he actually did the laundry and cleaned the kitchen last night and uh, while I put baby to bed Aries has been going to bed about 7 38 now so I kind of lay in bed and read I have a Kindle and I love to read on my Kindle. So I know all the best advice is to not have screens in your face before you go to bed, but I like to fall asleep to books. I've done that for years now and it's just the way I wind down and decompress, I guess. Huh? After I finish this water, I am going to go ahead and make a matcha because I love having a matcha after my coffee. Drink that one. <laughs> You drank my water? Yes. Any moms out there that just despise having their kids drink out of their water because you don't know what kind of backwash is in there? I don't mind my four-year-old, but my two-year-old definitely don't want to drink after him. <laughs> We're going to eat eggs and bacon first, and then you can have bread after that. Why? What do you mean, why? Because you have meat before you have bread. If you have picky eaters, always give the meat before the... <coughs> the veg or the carb. That way they get all the protein they need and then they only have a little bit of the extra and that way they don't act up as much. Just a little tip there. They know they can't have any bread or rice until they eat their meat. That's a rule my husband made and it's been very effective in well-behaved kids. Ever since I had some sourdough, I'm so excited. This is a honey cinnamon bread that I made. And then the bacon cooked way too long, obviously. <laughs> I had the fire too high. Yes. 
We are about to enjoy some sunshine and do some learning with Chuck on the deck. I want to get more steps in or get more movement in. I don't want to be sedentary the whole day. So I'm probably going to chase around the kids and we're going to do some sort of activity. We also have to collect eggs and feed the chickens. It's about to be winter again. I can't believe it. This, this year is flying by so quickly. It's already July. Today is July 9th, I think. Thank you, babe. Yeah. Today's the 9th of July. I am not looking forward to it being winter yet again and freezing cold temperatures. So we're trying to soak up the sun as much as possible. Circle all the numbers. Okay. What number is that? Six. Good job. Nothing. It's gonna be back over there, babe. In the corner. You mean? <laughs> Hello. It's so It is crazy hot outside. It's 85 now. Ugh, I miss Hawaii so much. But I am going to do a quick tidy before my husband gets home. It's 12.15 now, which concludes our morning routine. We did a little uh, numbers and letters on the deck, and then they're playing on their bikes now. I'm about to put baby down for a nap, but first I want to do a quick tidy, make sure the counters are clear, everything's wiped down, and make sure I get dinner prepped. So. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please let me know down in the comments, maybe what you want to see more of, or if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I appreciate you being here. I hope to give you some motivation to be productive in your morning, get a routine going, a little exercise, a little bit of stretching at least, or a little bit of walking. My second batch of bread came out the oven. I'm gonna cut that up and toss it in the freezer because we're not gonna have it at like any every meal or anything. We're just gonna have it like a couple times a week. Anyways, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all. <laughs> what were you doing? Throwing it in your face? Yeah. That's so silly. So the buttons don't get me. Take off that shirt.